Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this. I hope you had a fantastic New Year's Day and a celebration into 2023. Uh, I look forward to sharing this message with you this morning or whatever time you're listening to it. And I hope it's um, something that you can take into the new year. So who of you listening today can actually remember the old Rocky movies? I used to love Rocky when I was little and you almost knew how every movie was going to end. Rocky beating up the other guy with his left and his right hook. However, each movie, Rocky had to undertake several challenges, whether it being personal to get him into fighting fit for his next opponent or um, other challenges throughout his life. But each opponent was either bigger or stronger and tougher than he previously fought in the subsequent Rocky movies. Rocky had a purpose though. He either fought for the golden belt, he fought for his pride or his nation. But he challenged himself to strive for greater things and he trained to make it count. He knew his purpose. At times he did falter on this, but having a coach, someone whom he relied on and someone he was close to, helped him to recognize his purpose once again and to live in that purpose. Same goes for any athletes that compete in the Olympics. They train with purpose and they make everything they do count because you only ever get one shot at winning that gold. Sometimes you might be lucky and you have another go, but that's only four years later. There will always be stronger, faster people. But in that one moment to win gold, you only get one chance. Sometimes the same applies with life. We only have one life on this earth and we only have one shot at doing things right. By doing things right, I mean living our purpose that the Lord has designed for us. And this is a mantra by which I live my life. It's something I considered a while ago and aim to apply in all spheres of my life, whether that be as a husband, a father, a friend, the CEO of the organization I run, or the pastor of C3 or Mokoro campus. We are all called to live a life of purpose. And God has blessed each one of us with talents and giftings that we should use for His glory and to extend His kingdom here on earth. God has shaped and prepared you to play a unique role in each step of your story. You have a destiny that will bring glory to God, share the grace of God and extend the reign of God here on earth. Understanding your unique destiny starts with the understanding of what the Bible says about your purpose as one of God's people. Clarifying what the Bible says about your purpose helps you in three important ways. It declares why you exist. It captures the heart of why you are here on earth and why Jesus died for you. It defines your life, not in terms of what you think, but what God thinks. It anchors your life in the character and call of God. And it also clarifies those things that we like to call the non-negotiables. It identifies what never changes about who you are, regardless of the circumstances that you face. Many listening today might know that I quite enjoy my running. Yes, crazy, I know. I have run several marathons, dozens and dozens of half marathons, and one ultra marathon. A coach of mine once said that every runner should have a purpose for why they run whether that's to finish a particular race distance or for physical fitness or just for pure enjoyment. But when you think about people who run, they generally have a few things in common. They naturally have the characteristics of people who want to live purposeful lives. Just to put a caveat out there, I'm not saying that you have to be a runner to live purposeful lives. I'm only drawing a similarity and a commonality to these wonderful crazy people who like to run. People who live with purpose have goals for their future. They know where they want to go with their lives and why they want to get there. A second characteristic is that they know the why of their lives. Why do they want their futures to be a certain way? Why do they want purpose in their life? A future goal is not worth pursuing without a reason why. Purposeful people have a mission. Your mission may be to actually go out there and help others, or to teach others, or it may be completely something else altogether. Having a mission gives you a reason for living a purposeful life. People living with purpose live their lives in the present by acting on their mission and their goals. 
and not waiting to start or continue on tomorrow, saying, ah, oh, tomorrow's another day, I'll do it then. But they start now. And finally, living purposefully means that when you run into an obstacle, you will face that obstacle, but you'll figure out why that obstacle is there and then how you can get around it or get over it or get through it. You don't let that obstacle get in your way. Everyone faces challenges in their lives. And those people who are purposeful use these challenges as a means of improving themselves and not allowing challenges to stop them from pursuing their goal or their mission or the goal or the mission that God has placed in you. What I love about the Bible is that it is full of stories of individuals like you and me who have lived a life of purpose. Let's take David for example. He lived a life of purpose. Or did he live a life of purpose? Looking at his childhood, maybe not if you think about it, he was just a simple shepherd boy looking after sheep day in, day out. Not really groundbreaking or earth shattering purpose out there, is it? But there was a purpose. He lived with a purpose to look after those sheep, each and every one of them. Even to the point that he fought off wild animals just to protect them. This training during his youth set him up for his future. Something I believe David had his eyes on from a very young age. After defeating Goliath, David knew his purpose and he knew the calling God had on his life and that was prophesied over him many years beforehand. Though he did falter in many ways, it didn't stop him to run with purpose and to eventually unite all the tribes of Israel under one monarch. I'm a big believer that we all need to live a life of purpose. And as Christians, we need to find that purpose, whether it is prophesied over us like David or placed into our hearts by the Lord. We all have a purpose. You may not necessarily feel it right now or believe it, but can I please encourage you today to just take a look in the mirror, look at yourself and look with conviction and tell yourself that you are beautifully and you are wonderfully made in the image of the creator of our universe who has put you on this earth at this appointed time in 2023 for a place and a purpose for this year and for the years to come. And so if you are struggling with finding your purpose, perhaps maybe these three things can help you a little bit. Step one, reflect on scripture, reflect on the Bible. There's so much good stuff in that book that is important to you. Reflect on that. List the Bible verses God uses to give your life focus, purpose, and direction. These are the verses that tell you who you are, what's important, and what you are called to do. They are probably the verses you turn to the most when you are confused, when you're lost, or when you're losing hope. But these verses anchor your life. Note the reference, or note the reference of the verse and write it out, the verse or the complete verse, whichever is most helpful for you. Paraphrase or summarize what each verse says to you. Explain why each verse or passage is important to you. And look for the common themes between all those verses. What you can also do is reflect on how these verses generally function in your life, how they offer you hope, they give you direction, they bring you correction, they shape your identity. Step two, reflect on scripture about God's purposes. Passages like Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 10, Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Philippians 2 verse 1 to 8, Luke 9 verse 46, John 13, 31 to 35, 15, 1 to 11, and 1 Peter 2 verse 4 to 5. These passages reflect on and provide guidance regarding the purpose and the life of a follower of Jesus. God's purpose for our life. And when reading these, ask yourself the question, why do I exist? What does God say about a person's greatest fulfillment? What does God intend as my response to God's work of grace and salvation in my behalf and in my life? Where do I find my place in God's story? Not where does God find a place in my story, which so many of us tend to think and tend to try and do, but where do we find our place in God's story? And step three, identify your purpose based on the scripture. 
Your purpose isn't a lengthy to-do list of duties that you have to fulfill each day. It's an expression of why God created you. So, as we enter into a new year of 2023, can I please just encourage you to redefine and find what your purpose is. We've had a rough year this year, 2022. 23 is going to be a magical year. Redefine it and find your purpose. You may be making New Year's resolutions right now, or if you haven't, maybe this can be it. Redefine your purpose in 2023. God created each one of us with a purpose, and it is our response to that purpose to train ourselves, to get better at it, and to make our time count so that we can take part in God's story and express His kingdom here to others on earth. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for all of us listening here today. And we thank you for the new year that has begun in 2023. Lord, we pray that um, we can be encouraged to find our purpose in your story this year and that we could work and live outwardly um, for others and bring your kingdom closer to us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's Summer Sundays at 10 a.m. On Sunday the 8th and 15th of January, we're having a 10 a.m. service at our Tauranga location while our coast and north locations take a break. Then on Sunday the 22nd and 29th of January, we're having 10 a.m. services at all our locations. From Sunday the 5th of February, our regular 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Tauranga services will start up again. The church office is currently closed and will reopen on Monday the 16th of January. On Sunday the 22nd of January, we're having church picnics for each of our locations after the morning services. Tauranga will meet at Ferguson Park in Matua. Coast will gather at Motiti Reserve in Papamoa, and North will be at the Omokoroa waterfront. So join us and bring a picnic meal, some camp chairs and perhaps some park games too. We'd love to see you there. And that's church news for this week. You can visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more information.